that. So, um, first things first, uh, I guess. You were there, I believe you were there for his full four years, correct? Uh, he was there five years. I was there the last four years that oh, he was there. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so, you know him pretty well or knew him pretty well. Um, what sort of coach uh, was he like every day? Oh, he was a good man. I uh, think he was a really good football coach, treated people very well, uh, certainly knew a lot about the game, and I have nothing but great respect for him and for the job he did and the way I was treated when I was there. And obviously, beyond football, uh, you knew him probably pretty well as a man since you were there for most of his coaching time at Iowa. Kind of what was he like every day in, in everyday life outside of football? Oh, he was just a good person. He was, uh, the door was always open. If you ever needed to see him or ever had a problem or an issue, he would be more happy to discuss that and talk with you about it. Uh, the one regret I have is that uh, there was pretty tumultuous years when I was there with uh, uh, black boycott in 1969, and then it was marred by uh, the next year with the feud that he had with Forrest Evashevsky, who was the athletic director. So. I think that had a big impact on his ability to be successful, but uh, he was uh, he was just a really good person, a good coach and a better man. And obviously those two things are being the marquees of his time at Iowa. What are maybe your fondest memories of him uh, through his time there? Well, I think just the way he treated people, and uh, we had some big wins. Uh, my uh, freshmen weren't eligible then, so I only got to play three years, uh, 68, 69, and 70. and. And uh, we got really close to being outstanding. We were five and five in 68, 69. And then, uh, and then after the boycott, we lost a lot of good players and the feud uh, caused the quarterback to transfer. So the uh, senior year, which I was fortunate to be a most valuable player, I think we went three, six and one that year. But uh, it was just an honor to play at Iowa and to play for a person as, uh, as Coach Nagel. Uh, okay, I guess is there anything else that comes to mind when you think of him or what will you sort of remember when you do think of him? Well, I would just describe him as a first class guy. He, uh, he just had a lot of class about him, uh, the way he treated the players and the press and everybody else. Uh, he, was, he was just a first class guy.